What's happening people? Welcome to another video with All Source and today I've got the D7 Pro Max Series 7 clone smartwatch. This is the latest version. If you haven't seen my previous videos where I did the D7 Pro or every other smartwatch uh, clone, then check out my fake watches playlist as you can see loads of smartwatches on there. But just before I get started, make sure you follow me on one of the social medias above for I always put up all the sneak peeks uh, on there. And as always, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when upload any video you'll actually be notified so let's get straight into it the box is pretty different compared to uh, the d7 pro as you can see here is wireless charging with the wireless charging pad right there uh, wfd rdv fit apparently that's the app you need to download uh, it comes in five different colors you can purchase it for around 30 pounds from aliexpress or alibaba uh, shipping may vary depending on where you are so you are in the world so let's unbox this d7 pro max take a look at the design of this uh, d7 pro max so as you can see it's the same design as the series 6 and 7 you've got a crown with the mic cut out and also the on and off button taking a look at the back there's no push buttons for the watch band they just slide straight in and straight out it's got watch 7 44 millimeter zinc case device encoder the smart wearable watch that's what it actually says with a few fake sensors it has got one slit on the other side which is for the speaker but one is fake and one is real as you can see right there so yeah overall the features on this watch is a 1.77 inch display it has got a bit of a bezel at the bottom which i'll show you later in the video when we power it on uh, battery capacity is 200 and 80 mAh and it takes around two hours to fully charge so let's power this on and let's see what feature we get when we uh, boot it up so you've got a vicious vibrate with a little startup tone and as you can see straight onto the watch face so let's take a look at some of the watch faces I have been told there's already 10 preloaded watch faces on here so one um, let's scroll down two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you've also got a plus button so this plus button uh, where it's where it stores all of your watch faces you can download a few more from the app which we'll check out later but these are the watch faces that are already downloaded onto the watch uh, let's go on that one so when you swipe it left and right it actually changes the watch faces swiping it down will actually give you your message notifications swiping it up will give you your uh, shortcuts now you can actually edit this as well so let's take a look at uh, you can edit it take off and take on uh, whichever you actually want so let's take a look at some of the shortcuts you've got your bluetooth on and off uh, you've got your silent mode uh, battery percentage uh, this one which we have right here the new feature on this d7 pro max uh, you've seen that some of the smartwatches i've reviewed previously have uh, qr code which actually give you your social card which is social information also your uh, wallet as well so if you're going to social card you've got much more uh, apps that you can actually add on to this watch so you got your facebook wechat uh, which one's that q uh, uh, business card twitter whatsapp and other and also instagram so all you got to do to confirm is download the app and bind your information onto the qr code and this smartwatch and your information is stored on here now when it comes to the wallet you only on the previous smartwatches you could get alipay with this one you got PayPal, Alipay, WeChat and also Google Pay as well. So which is really cool. So it's got new features with this as well. And like I said, same again, you've got to find it from the app as well. Uh, so that is a, a few new features on this uh, D7 Pro Max. This one is Find My Smartwatch uh, and also Phone Brightness. You can turn it up and down. And 
torch which doesn't do anything to be honest you got your heart rate so let's check out the heart rate and see if it actually gives us a reading as you can see you've got your christmas flashing lights right there it's coming to the period as well uh, let's see if we get the reading straight away it's getting 78 beats per minute for fresh air so that just goes to show these uh, health apps don't actually give you an accurate reading swiping it back down this actually gives you a, a gps uh, positioning as well it will give you coordinates so once you connect it to your app and your phone it can actually uh, set it and it will give you a coordinate so gps tracking which is another good feature and new feature on this d7 pro max and you've also got settings so let's take a look at settings it's only it only has two uh, menu user interfaces which is list view and also celly view which is the smart view you got your reset button power off qr code screen sleep uh, we will turn that all the way up uh, language let's see what languages we can choose lots of languages as you can see right here and also about which actually states that's a d pro max and it just gives you some information about that so uh, let's go back as you can see it's got some really good shortcuts you can uh, delete them as well if you want to the animation on the watch face is really good similar or seem the same as the original uh, series 7 so let's push in the crown and as you can see here that's why it will go all the way to the top the crown does work as you can see but it's really slow look at that really slow so let's take a look at some of the features so we've got find phone which you've checked earlier shutter you have to connect it to your app phone book same again recent call you've got to connect it to your app same again call music you've got to connect it to your phone as it says there siri hello it doesn't do anything you've got to connect it to your phone as well weather as well step it just uh let's go into steps and this calculates the kilometers you walked and the steps you've taken these all the health apps don't actually work heart rate blood oxygen uh, breathing as well uh, they don't actually work properly start watch is probably only the accurate thing that actually works the sport mode let's see what sport mode we have just a few sport modes as you can see right there sleep just uh, measures your sleep i'm pretty sure it will not give you an accurate reading so don't count on that because the health apps are not actually uh, accurate my qr code we sort of showed you that earlier watch faces uh, you can change it from the menu which is good now we've got to go back so gps positioning as you can see and settings so that is what we get already stored onto the phone now what i'm going to do is download the qr code on the box which we have right here uh, download the app and let's see what other features we can do once we've connected it to the smartwatch okay the app you need to download is vfit uh, which is same as the d7 pro uh, putting onto the onto the app and as you can see here add a device make sure bluetooth is on let's swipe it up oh we need it on there we go bluetooth is on on my phone yes so let's give it another search and hopefully you should get d7 pro max straight away and there we have it so you get a little uh, vibration and as you can see pair success and uh yeah so there we have it on the app d7 pro max is connected gives you the battery percentage which you have right there so let's straight go straight into watch faces so these are the watch faces that are already um downloaded onto your uh, for um smartwatch so let's click it down does it uh, change yes it does so it syncs straight to the phone now if you want to get more dials there's loads more just got to scroll down keep scrolling so you can actually uh, load more dials onto it but make sure you don't download download too much as this only has a 256 mb memory so it's not that lot so you can actually change the incoming sms call reminders app alerts device alarm goal notification ring reminders contacts these are the two new features that we have the wallet so as you can see you got google pay paypal wechat and alipay uh, all you got to do is just follow the instructions as you can see and it all goes to a qr code and you can make payments same again when it comes to business card uh just go into one of them which way you want to want to do uh, follow the instructions and you can actually add add it onto a qr code sync it straight to the smartwatch and yeah easy enough to be honest so they are the two new features at the bottom you've got time format you can change your time as well find device 
which is a uh, vigorous vibrate to be honest do okay we found it yeah, still going do not disturb mode uh, wake wrist uh, you can do that easy easy camera heart rate detection and uh, yeah firmware upgrade remove device so you can actually put information about yourself um and also exercise mode and also all the information gets synced straight to your uh, app which is right there so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that is the d7 pro max when it comes to making phone calls the number comes up the name doesn't come up which is a bit of a uh, bollock when you when you don't know the number that by heart do you know who's calling or not wow i didn't know that when you actually do that it changes color wow check that out so yeah, and also when it comes to messages, you can receive messages, view messages, but you can't reply back. And it's same again with the app notifications, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you can receive notifications as well from there. Uh, but yeah, overall, not a, de uh, not a bad smartwatch. The only thing I don't like about it is the big bezel at the bottom, but it does look like the Series 7 with also the apps, uh, the watch faces. What do you think? let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any other videos with this watch do let me know thanks again for watching and i will see you again for another video